Hi, I'm Esther from Esther Skincare, and today I want to show you how you could make your own natural, organic, high quality soap in your house. Well, in order to make the best soap, you need the best ingredients. In our skincare business, we always choose the best organic ingredients that we could get. And I really recommend you do the same until you make soap in your house. You really want it to come out good. So we'll start with olive oil, which is the base ingredient. Um, you need to get unrefined, high quality, preferably organic olive oil. We use olive oil from the area that we work in, in the Galilee in Israel. It's really, really rich and, and um, good olive oil. So we need one kilo of that. And I measure in kilos and not in liters in order to be accurate in my recipe. Second ingredient that I almost always use in my soap recipes is the coconut butter. Actually coconut oil, but it looks like a butter. And I also use high quality organic coconut oil in order to get the best results. So we'll need 700 grams of this. And the last ingredient for this um, soap recipe, the last um, oil ingredient will be the shea butter. We use 300 grams of shea butter and this will really give us a, a rich nourishing soap that will even be gentle enough in order to use for the face. So one kilo of olive oil, 700 grams of coconut oil, and 300 grams of shea butter. That's what we need for the oils. I'll combine them all in a stainless steel or glass bowl, which I'll use in the Ben Marie method. I'll heat it up on top of uh, another pan with water in order not to damage the oils. So we're going to do that now. Okay, so next thing we're doing is we're combining the sodium hydroxide with the water. Um, this will give us the lye solution that later on we'll combine with the oils and this will um, combine to be soap. So we need to pour 270 grams of lye in 600 grams of water and we stir it and then lay, uh, let it rest for half an hour. In order to do it, we use gloves because it's very, um, it could really uh, burn our skin. Okay, so the equipment we need in order to continue the soap will be herbs or whatever you wanna put in the soap. I wanna use today activated charcoal. That's the soap that I wanna make, but you could put oats, you could put grounded um, herbs inside. I have calendula flowers here, um, dried lavender flowers here, and of course, essential oils, which I love the essential oils, and I always recommend to buy the best organic, high quality essential oils you could get, because they're so amazing and so therapeutic, but only if you get the real ones. If you just get um, uh, essential oils that aren't pure, what's the point? Um, we'll also need soap molds. You could use any silicone molds you you like. We use usually um, these wooden molds that we made and we line them with baking paper. We'll also need a spatula and a blender stick in order to blend the oils and the lye solution together. So let's start. Okay, so we reached the final stage. We combine the oils and the lye together. And only in the end, we'll add all the herbs and the essential oils and put the soap into molds. This is the consistency that the soap needs to get to. It's like a nice thick pudding. And this is the stage that I could add whatever I wanna add to the soap. Okay, so now is the fun part. It's the 
part where I combine whatever I chose to combine in my soap and pour it in the molds. And like I said, I'm gonna put um, powdered activated charcoal in order to make a detoxifying face soap. Um, I'm also gonna combine some essential oils. I'm gonna put in here lavender and geranium. Like I said, the highest quality, pure organic essential oils you could get. That's what you should get for your soap. Okay, so now that we poured the soap in the molds, we need to let them sit for two or three days until they harden so we could pop them out. Once we pop them out, we need to place them on a, a, maybe a wooden tray or somewhere that they could be comfortable and they could sit there for another two or three weeks in order for them to cure and become the best um, ready soap. I'll show you soap that's already made. This is soap that I made a month ago. I have here um, Galilee herb soap. I have here lavender flower soap. Then I wrap them up nicely. This sat for already a month and it's ready. It's ready to pack and sell or give away. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.